And I came home to check what the comment was. And guess what the comment said? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have our first hater. Mouse, I have a cancer. Hello? Hey, Mouse? Baba Boy. This show has come a long way. It's been quite a while since we began. I don't know what happened. All I remember was taking 16 dabs of acid, and the show just kind of went downhill from there. And needless to say, I don't give a flying fuck. You know, for a change, why don't we start with some nice words of encouragement comments? I hope you fucking die, unfunny gook ass spick looking. <laughs> Ass ass middle school comedian ass South Park wannabe piece of fucking trash. All right, never mind. Looks like looks like there's too many. We're jumping right in. This is gonna be fun. Now Marcus Spears says, "My little sister had to move in with our aunt in Iowa because of your videos. <laughs> Close your channel." Oh man, I'm so I I'm so sorry. Not because she had to move in with her aunt, but because she had to move to Iowa. Don't worry, there's some fun stuff in Iowa. <laughs> I'm sorry your sister had to move to Iowa. Alright, we're gonna start with some YouTube comments. The first one comes from Mr. Prey Sniping. How the fuck did this retard have 300,000 views? He's not funny and clearly has an IQ similar in size to negative 125. Okay, first of all, I don't think IQ is calculated in size. So, uh, so uh, you kind of you kind of dropped the ball there, dipshit. So, you know, let's go on their profile and see what kind of videos they think are, uh, Ideal. Pray sniping. Subscribe to a channel. R R Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science. The think the thinking atheist. Oh man, we're in for a fucking treat. Cause you know he's just a 16 year old that thinks he's smarter than everybody. Yeah, I see you pray sniping. You're that kid in the back of the classroom with that Minecraft t-shirt and you flip the pen in your hand over and over again. Shitting out Richard Dawkins quotes you found on Reddit. And your grades are probably really shitty, but no, no, I get it, I get it. You're a different kind of intellect and you're a different kind of learner. Right. I need to prove that I'm smarter than everybody, so I'm just gonna become an atheist. I don't know what I'm talking about. Wow, you're, uh, you'll tell you what, you're a real thinker. And you know, you scroll down a little more. And, uh... <laughs> you subscribe to chess.com. How does the inside of your colon smell? Because you're pretty fucking far up there. Ooh, nobody gives a shit. Next question. Chris Master Chris says, I don't get that he's funny. He's just some stupid Asian with a creepy face. Hey man, I find that offensive. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, I went on his profile and he subscribed to both Smosh channels. So uh, I'm not even surprised. Is this guy partially mental? I'm not joking or being mean when asking this. I've worked with mentally retarded people for a while and it seems like he fits right in. Okay, first of all, let's, let's address this. If you've worked with mentally disabled people, you don't call them mentally retarded. Don't try and act politically correct, but be politically incorrect about the exact thing you're addressing. But to your answer your question... I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know anymore. And then he comes at me with, I am 16, I have a 3.9 GPA, and I'm going into my junior year. I've been thinking of, I've been take, I've been taking advanced classes. Get some facts right before you judge someone. I'm sorry, we, I didn't know what we were dealing with. Guys, we're dealing with a special snowflake. Ooh, nobody gives a shit. I love Minecraft. Kid, I'm so sorry for you in general. Just, uh... Good luck out there, yeah? You're a pro-American racist pig who doesn't even speak proper Japanese or understand anything but stereotypes. I speak Japanese fluently and I learned it from anime, so yes, you can learn Japanese from anime. You don't know anything about Japan at all, and you seem really ignorant. <laughs> You're calling me ignorant because I'm an American? Because I speak English? But guess what, I'm not American. So, so you're ignorant. Also, this goes without being said, but you're a, you're weeaboo trash. All right, now this guy's a special one. It's a bit long, so I'll let you read it on your own. Ooh, yeah. hey, 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 hey. 
There's... There's so much wrong with this post, I can't even talk about it. Like, I'd feel too bad. Anomalous Dota says, Anyone who finds this funny, please reassess your IQ. You know, alright, I, I get it. This guy must be pretty important. Let's take a look at him. <laughs> team Arab had carry. I'm looking for a serious high-level team. Contact me. Three subscribers. What's bring me Anyone who plays Dota, like, contact him. He's looking for a, a high-level team. I think he plays as one of those uh, creatures. You know the ones that are, the ones that are really skinny and like really hairy. What are they called? What are they called? Oh yeah, yeah, virgins. <laughs> Trash. Is Filthy Frank actually 52? Yeah, yeah, my turn out 53 next July. Big Stank Dick Dad says, My younger sister showed this to me. This channel should be shut down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Does she have to move in with her aunt in Iowa too? Ooh, nobody gives a shit. And last but not least for the YouTube comments, Chad Kroger says, I just killed my whole family today. And what the hell is on Joey? Just, just guys, anyways, don't be a fucking dipshit. What? What do you want? Ah. Oh, shit. But I hate haircut day. Fine. Hold on, guys. Pink guy's gonna give me a haircut. Uh, Alright. Let's get this shit started. Give me that Carlton fade, nigga. Give me that Carlton fade. Give me that Carlton fade! Ah! Wait, what? Y'all should know by now, this is the worst show on the internet. If I want to get a haircut mid-video, I'm gonna fucking do it. I say it looks pretty good, though. So, uh, that'll be all the hate comments for today. They, they didn't hurt at all. Now let's lighten the mood up a little bit and do some Facebook comments, huh? Danny Connor says, Would you rather have a 20 pound tongue or a 20 pound ball sack? Now you gotta look at the pros and cons here. A 20 pound tongue would probably mean you can't speak ever again, but you could probably eat the pussy like a madman. But with a 20 pound ball sack, you never specified whether the balls were huge as well. So really there could just be two little balls and a huge ball sack just just around it. So it'd just be the skinny flap. So you know, thanks to modern medicine, you could probably remove a lot of the ball sack. And you could probably use it as a nice warm quilt for the winter time. You know, just a, a nice scrotum quilt for the winter. A squilt. So you know what, Danny, I'm probably gonna go with the large ball sack. Thanks for the lovely question. Let's look at the next question. Matt Banks says, Lisa, this is some nasty ass coffee. I hate you so much, but the pussy game ridiculous. Thank you, Matt. I, uh, appreciate it. I love you, baby. Alexis, I'm, I don't, I'm not even gonna bother pronouncing your last name, says, Would you rather have Ebola or keep being yourself? I'll tell you what, you guys have no chill. You guys have no fucking chill. That's actually a really tough question. But at least being myself doesn't have, like, as a high death rate. I don't know, though. Is it really worth being alive like this? Lucas Adverse says, Would you rather commit suicide or kill yourself? Please do it. Well, you're not giving me much of an option there. John Fahey, Fahey says, Would you rather have dick-sized nipples or a nipple-sized dick? Now, this is pretty interesting because, uh, now assuming even though you have dick-sized nipples, they're not dicks, they're just dick-sized nipples, and if you have a nipple-sized dick, you know, it still has the function of a penis, but it's just the size of a nipple. That's what we're assuming here. At least with a nipple-sized dick, you can hide it and just, you know, keep your pants on. You know, the chances of you pretty much getting laid are like zero. But at least people can kind of think that you're, you're a functioning human being. Whereas having dick-sized nipples, you're gonna be in gym class running and it's just gonna be flopping. Or like you're gonna be running late to work and just flopping. Like you can't just hide that with a shirt. Even if you got duct tape and duct tape your penis sized nipples to your chest, they would still be sticking out a great amount. Now assuming they're nipples, what if it gets really cold in the winter? They're gonna stand up like erections. So you're just straight up fucked. Well, if you're gonna have penis sized nipples, let's hope they're Asian nipples, huh? <laughs> 
Etch Austin says, Kill, fuck, marry. The President Edition. Nixon, Obama, or Kenton? No. No, okay, never mind. We're not doing this one. So on Facebook I asked, What was your most awkward high school experience? And, uh... I got some interesting answers. Taking a shit in a kid's backpack in the library while he, the kid took a two minute test. It was like defusing a bomb. That's like fucked up, but like I'm proud of you because you did it in two minutes. I mean actually, two minutes isn't that bad. Mikhail says watching your vids. Alright, yeah. I walked right in that one. Andrew Sutherland says fucking my teacher. I was homeschooled. Oh boy, that's fucked. Nicholas says penis inspection day. Now. I got a lot of comments that said penis inspection day. Bonilla Devon says showing my friends filthy Frank and none of them laughing. Alright. Daily penis inspection in gym class. I swear I I swear I was always singled out for not washing my foreskin properly. The coach would always keep me back in detention and show me the correct way to wash. He was a pretty decent guy and always seemed really keen to help out when someone was struggling. Well it's really nice that your PE teacher could uh, help you out with your foreskin. I'm not gonna ask any questions, I'm not gonna call the cops. I didn't see anything. Mark Serban says, fell asleep in class and had a wet dream. Came in my pants and had to hide it for the rest of the lecture. Your life is like a 90s movie. Kyle Monroe says, high school as a whole. 308 likes. You know what, I think we can all agree on that. So I also asked on the Facebook group, what the Filthy Frank show reminds you of? And the answers were, uh, why I'm still a virgin. Yes, yeah, that's about right. Emilio says, the guy who killed John Lemon. And sadly, even those were the only, the only serious answers that were on that post. The rest was shit like this. Amber Goodrow just sent a picture of this. Like, where do you get this shit? Like, you guys need to stop. You guys need to fucking chill, please. Oh my goodness. Anyways, folks, I, uh, I hate you all. I really do. Just kidding, I love you, baby. Let me suck on those tits. You know, like the Facebook page, the Twitter? Like, those two are just fucked up. Like, that's where, all the, that's where all the real shit goes down. I'd actually advise you not to be on those pages. Like, the comment section on those Facebook posts are just a fucking mess. Like, that's the only way to describe it. It's a fucking mess. Anyway, sayonara, you sorry-looking bastards. I'll see you next time. It's Filthy Frank, motherfucker. It's Filthy Frank, bitch. Let's get some pussy tonight.